What's up, family? My name is Vince. Welcome to my channel. Now let's get to it. Okay, so, um, <laughs> hi everybody. Uh, it's been a while since my last video, and uh, I wanted to fill you guys in on what exactly was happening that, you know, refrained me from making videos. Um, for my job, I am, uh, well, actually, Yes, I'll just, I'll go about it like this. For my job, I'm the assistant manager at a pizza, at a, at a pizzeria that's going to be opening in the uh, Morgantown area, West Virginia University on the Evansdale campus. If you, any of you are familiar, I'm working at this pizzeria called Cola Rosso, okay? And uh, the pizza actually was created uh, by uh, a chef by the name of Tandy Wilson, uh, one of the not—he's he's been a nominee for the James Beard Award a few years in a row, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and Coloroso, that's the place that I'm going to be working out, working at, is a concept created through the uh, ideas and uh, I guess ideals as well of Tandy, and um, and. What my company wanted to do was, you know, send me down to uh, his location, which was Nashville, Tennessee, and his restaurant, City House, uh, and learn from him. You know, learn what we're going to be making, learn in you know, the concepts, pizza. You know, I've already worked in a pizzeria before, and uh, that kind of gave me a, a, a good idea as to what we're going to be doing. But he sent me down to Tennessee to see exactly the process and what we're going to be doing. So I spent uh, last week in Nashville, Tennessee. I did not bring my camera. So this is my first video back. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Um, yeah, guys, it was a um, very, very, very great experience. You know, the company that I'm working under, uh, Fresh Hospitality, Super, super generous, you know, group of people that I really want to work with for a, a, a long, long time. I, I have no plans on, um, you know, kind of going off, of, straying away from this company. Now, some of you guys might be asking me, well, you know, I, I thought you wanted to own your own gym. I, I thought you, you, you wanted to have a big fitness, you know, thing going on here. Vince, you know, what's the, what's the deal? Now, don't lose faith in me now, guys. I am a firm believer of keeping your hands full, staying busy, and always staying hungry, always trying to learn new things, uh, never being content where you are, staying stagnant will kill a man. I'm a firm believer in that. I would consider myself a jack of all trades, and uh, I love food. And I love fitness. If you guys haven't already figured that out through my channel and the content that I'm trying to bring. Now, I don't see a reason why I can't do both. I have no reason to believe and, you know, to, to think that I can't do both. You know, why can't I have, you know, why can't I be an assistant manager for now? Why can't I be an assistant manager and run a fitness channel? I don't see any reason that I can't. The only reason that I couldn't was because I didn't bring my camera, I didn't have my computer with me. You know, I could have made videos, yeah, but I just didn't have my resources available to me. And it's also been a busy, busy, busy past few days trying to get back into the swing of things. You know, school, internship, work, training, and trying to get the YouTube channel going. I'm sorry that it took me so long, guys, and I do apologize. I'm gonna be trying to get you. I'm gonna be bringing new content. You know, this is just you know I'm getting back in the swing of things. You know, my competition has not changed. I am around. I'm actually less than seven weeks out, and I'm, I am keeping the track. Going to Nashville has not done anything, anything wrong. You know, I was able to stay on a diet that has helped me. You know, retain muscle mass. I've worked my nutrition that's 
in, in basically in a way that will. Let me let me. I'm gonna rephrase. I'm gonna rephrase this, guys. I know what to put in my body to make sure that I can go back if I gain weight to where it was before, and continue to lose weight. My diet was not strict on the Tennessee trip. I didn't have a stove. I didn't have any form of you know cooking. So I was, you know, subject to, you know, eat like a uh, restaurant, a, almost like a like a foodie, like a food lover. And whenever you, and I don't know if you guys know this, but Nashville's a food town along with being a music town. It was good food. So just, uh, you know, kind of to put things in perspective, I was 172 pounds coming back on Sunday, 172 pounds. And you guys might be, you were a, you were 158. <laughs> and I mean, I gained around what 14, 12, 14 pounds, and uh, I'm 158. Well, I, I was 159 this morning, guys. 159. This is why I love carb backloading, and this is why I love the idea of nutrient timing and intermittent fasting and things that I'm trying to bring you guys that, you know, this isn't a joke. I was 172 pounds three days ago. Now, that yeah, wasn't all fat. It was water weight, sodium, yada, yada, yada. But you can have your foods that you want to eat, and if you follow this diet, if you do something like this, I mean, I'm 158, I'm 159 pounds. I was 159 pounds this morning after, you know, eating pizza every day, after going out and having amazing food that was not macro friendly, if you guys can believe it. This isn't going to be the longest video. I don't want this to be the longest video. This is, a, this is a quick welcome back, you know, sorry about the wait, but I'm gonna be making some, you know, different content here soon. I'm gonna do a posing video here soon. Updates real quick for the prep. Cardio is going up five minutes, so now I'm doing 35 minutes total cardio. I just ordered supplements today. I'm getting a fat burner in the mail. Also getting more chromium and uh, what else? Creatine, because I've ran out of creatine. Everything else is staying the same keeping my carbs at around 130 grams of carbs per day, except on these low carb days that I've been doing, just coming back from the Tennessee trip. Low carb is a good thing right after a cheat day, or cheat week if you wanna go that far. Uh, just, you know, feeling great, guys. You know, that, that, that trip was a really, you know, wake up call, you know, the, the things that I wanted to do, you know, how I am a, I, I, I'm a foodie at heart. I love food. I was a little fat kid when I was growing up and I knew how to cook and that's why I became fat because I was, you know, love food. I will be giving you guys some new and improved recipe videos because I've been making some great cooking. I, I, I've been making some great food lately. I've been doing a damn good job in this kitchen. I'm going to show you what I do. And I will post all the recipes that I came up with and every idea that I have for you guys right here. Because I don't, because I'm, I'm trying to share the wealth. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Give me a thumbs up if you approve of this message. Show me some love and subscribe to the channel. And spread the good news share my video on Facebook Twitter whatever it is you guys use these days and remember a long awaited always stay flexed so you find your way back home.